Hi everyone, this is Mark of Tech Pinas, and in this new video, I'm going to give you a very quick unboxing of the all-new Smart TNT Oppo A12 prepaid bundle, which is now available for only 4,990 at the Smart Online Store, Oppo's flagship stores in Shopee and Lazada, as well as at Oppo's retail stores and accredited retailers nationwide. So as you can see here, the official SRP of this model is 5990 But if you're going to get it bundled with Smart TNT, then the price goes down to only 4990 at the said retail channels. Okay, so as you can see here on the paper sleeve, uh, some of the advantages of getting the Smart TNT Oppo A12 4G LTE variant is that this one already comes with a Smart or TNT 5G ready SIM card. This one already comes with free 3GB of Facebook. So that's free 200 MB of Facebook per day for 15 days. So on top of that, you get free 1GB of data upon SIM activation valid for 3 days. You also get free 1GB of data upon loading 100 pesos within the first 3 days. And then additionally, you get 500 MB for every 150 pesos accumulated load in the first 12 months. So when you add all of that, you do get lots of free data allocation when you purchase the Smart TNT Oppo A12 prepaid bundle. Okay, so this is the paper sleeve uh, on top of the handset inside. Let me just show it to you. So you have the image of the handset here. Then these are the four key features of this phone. You have the 13 megapixel dual rear camera, the very large 4230 milliamp hours battery pack. This phone also has a fingerprint sensor, which adds a veritable layer of protection for the user. And then finally, this one has a large 6.22 inch HD plus water drop screen. All right, so that's the face. So on this side, you have Oppo. Here, as you can see, this Oppo handset is mobile data locked to Smart and TNT. And it also comes, as I've said, with those exciting free data allocation from the MVP company. Okay, and then finally at the back here, uh, as you can see, this phone comes with a TNT 5G ready SIM inside. And you also get a uh, Smart TNT promos, which you can subscribe to using the all new Smart Giga Life application that you can download from the Google Play Store. Okay, so there you go. Let me just remove this outer sleeve. And this is the official retail package of Oppo A12 in the Philippines. And it has this plastic cover outside which we'll have to remove using our Swiss knife. Okay. And there you go. Let's remove this and there you go okay so as you can see the Oppo A12 comes in this white box with the image of the handset printed on the cover also the name of the phone Oppo A12 so we have the Oppo logo here and this one on this golden accent right here we see that this model is the 3 gigabytes RAM version with 32 gigs of internal storage so on the right side, you have Oppo. So just Oppo on the left side, nothing at the bottom. And on top, here, you have this barcode. And what I have here is the flowing silver version. Okay, and at the bottom, again, you have the four key features of the phone. Oppo A12, so you have the 6.22 inch HD water drop screen. This one is an AI dual rear camera. As I've said earlier, it also has a large battery. And this one has both the fingerprint sensor as well as AI facial unlock. All right, so I guess we're ready to lift the cover and let me show you everything that's inside. And there you go. So you have this paper sleeve covering the handset, which also helps to protect it during shipment. And here, 
we have these uh, documentation and accessories so you have this metal pin for ejecting the sim card tray there you go it's the first one this is the user manual and this one unravels into this so here you have the phone's complete technical specifications so I suggest that you give this one a quick glance to get a good idea about um, the external features of the phone as well as how to operate it although frankly at this point I think uh, most of us wouldn't have any problems using the phone even without reading the user manual so this one I believe is the warranty certificate there you go so this will tell you the safety and security details in using the phone okay and then finally I think it's nice that the Oppo A12 despite its very low price tag already comes with a free soft gel case so again this one only sells for 4,990 if you're going to get the smart TNT prepaid bundle which already comes with a smart or TNT 5G ready SIM card although this phone is a 4G LTE device so there you go despite the low price you already get a free soft gel case so that's really nice no need to buy one separately and then here in its uh, plastic cradle we have the phone itself so this one is the flowing silver version so later i'll show you more of the device but for now let me just finish the unboxing so this is the charging cable and let me just check so this one is a micro usb 2.0 uh, charging and data cable you'll also need this for transferring photos and videos that you will take using the phone and then finally we have the travel charger right here okay so as you can see here this one supports 2a output all right so i think we're now ready to remove this plastic cover let me just remove this okay okay so i guess we'll just have to start with a back design so this one is very interesting so again the color that I have here is the flowing silver and I guess that's because of the design of the handset as you can see this one has an S design at the back which is made possible by the many micro lines or the micro patterns and it does look like it's flowing because of that really nice I'd say that uh, even though this phone is very affordable this one is a very classy and elegant look there you go so I guess uh, smart TNT really chose a good phone to a uh, bundle with their services this one is just oozing with elegance I would say despite its price tag so there you go this is the back design so as you can see here you have the dual rear camera module with the LED flash this is the fingerprint scanner Oppo branding right there so this one is a sticker which you'll need for after sales support so I suggest you don't remove that so that's the back panel this is the right side and here you only have the power button okay so moving to the left side here we have the volume up and down buttons and this is the sim card tray which you can eject using the provided metal pin so let me just show that to you okay Wow, so I think this is nice. So you have two nano SIM card slots and one dedicated micro SD card slot. So this is nice because this means that you won't have to sacrifice dual SIM capability just to get more space for your large files. So you can do that by adding a micro SD card inside. Okay, let me just put it back. So nothing on top, it's just clean. There you go. And at the bottom here, this row of holes is for the loudspeaker. This is our micro USB 2.0 port. These two holes are for the microphone. And this is the 3.5 millimeter 
audio jack okay so this is the face of the phone and as you can see here you have the front facing camera which i'll talk more about later and if you're wondering this phone already comes with a pre-installed screen protector as you can see here so you won't have to purchase one separately okay so join me in my initial setup of the smart tnt oppo a12 prepaid bundle okay so let's turn it on by long pressing on the power button okay so you have oppo powered by android so let's do the setup really quickly so i can already talk about the technical specifications of this phone so select language english united states continue so just choose the country and we are in the philippines okay continue terms of usage so for now i'm just gonna agree to all of them continue so let's connect to our wi-fi network next we can turn on or turn off our wi-fi assistant so basically wi-fi assistant automatically connects to the fastest and most stable wi-fi network in your vicinity so for now i'm just gonna turn it off continue then the phone will check for updates so here you can copy apps and data from your older phone into this new one for the sake of this unboxing i won't do that so don't copy now i'll have to log in to my google account and agree to the google terms of service I agree okay here we can turn on or turn off some google services so i like all of them i'm just gonna keep them turned on so this is for google assistant okay check out what's trending with google assistant so this is to access your google assistant with voice i believe i already set this up before so as you can see here your assistant can already recognize your voice good job continue so the phone will add finishing touches okay so as i've said this phone has several security features so you have the fingerprint scanner at the back and this one also has facial recognition that's embedded in the front facing camera as well as your usual password and passcode unlocked so let me just click on settings so here i can set my password for unlocking the device or i may also use other methods for example there's pattern code which i prefer so let me just set it up okay so here i can enroll my facial information for the facial recognition feature so let me just continue let me show you how to register your fingerprint on the scanner at the back so all you have to do is to tap on it and keep tapping on it making sure that the entire surface area of your fingerprint has been registered so here the phone will ask you to adjust your holding position and you can click continue just make sure that even the edges of your fingerprint are registered and there you go done so here we can choose when we want to get software updates so we can turn on auto update overnight which i don't like because i want to do it manually continue again you can import data from your older phone apart from google play store oppo also has its own app market where you can download popular applications for the android platform but for now i'm just gonna skip this okay so it says here welcome to color os 6 and that is the oppo experience on top of android operating system so we're just gonna click get started all right, so now let me give you a quick tour of the Oppo Color OS 6.1 user interface on top of Android 9 Pie operating system. So this is the home screen. So as you can see, Oppo has always had very good wallpapers pre-installed on their handsets, which is just like this one. So there you go. So this is the drop down notifications tab right there. And you also have these quick access buttons for turning on your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or for turning your phone into mute or silent mode, as well as for night shield, also for Oppo Share, and power saving mode among others. Okay. So there you go. This is the settings.
and if you're wondering if there's a dark mode so here because this is android 9.0 pi it doesn't have that also you'd have to turn on app drawer if you prefer that so let me show you how so first you have to long press on any blank portion of the home screen then tap on the home screen settings button right there and then here in home screen mode there's a standard mode and there's also a drawer mode so i really prefer this one so i'm just gonna choose that and then switch and then after that just go back to your home screen and then when you swipe up as you can see here you will already see your app drawer i really prefer this because for me this looks more organized because of the alphabetical listing as well as the search bar right there okay so now let me show you how to change the wallpaper so to do that again just long press on any blank portion of the home screen then tap on wallpapers so here you can already choose among these different ones okay i think i like this one so i'm just gonna choose that with this wallpaper, you can appreciate the display more. So as I've shared earlier, this one is a 6.22 inch HD+. Plus, so that's 720 by 1520 pixels IPS LCD display. And then here, as you can see, the bezels are quite thin. Especially the top as well as the right and left sides. So the bottom part right there is a bit thicker compared to the top portion and for me it's okay given the price of this phone and on top of that this also helps prevent my palm from accidentally touching the display and as i've shared earlier this phone has a water drop notch and this notch houses a 5 megapixel f 2.0 front facing camera which is powered by oppo's ai beautification software so although this one is not as high resolution as the front facing cameras on all Oppo's mid-range and high-end Android smartphones, I'd say that this one is still very good because of that software optimization. Flipping the phone over, like what I told you earlier, uh, the phone's dual rear camera module is one of its highlights. So Oppo A12 sports a 13 megapixel f2.2 main camera and also a 2 megapixel f2.4 depth sensor that enables portrait mode that lets you add background blur or bokeh effect to your portrait shots to make them look more interesting so background blur is, a, is essentially like this so this part right there is very clear and crisp but as you can see here the the box looks a bit blurred so that's essentially um, depth of feel so you will be able to know which one is nearer to the lens and which one is a bit further so as you can and which one is farther from it okay so that's depth of field you may also add background blur or bokeh effect to photos of your toys or maybe even your food just to make them look more visually appealing of course the main camera given that it has a high resolution and also a fairly wide aperture is very uh, handy when it comes to everyday point and shoot photography and as you can see here this imaging setup comes with an led flash which is very handy when taking photos and also when recording videos in low light conditions or even during nighttime and speaking of recording videos the main camera can shoot full hd videos at 30 frames per second just like the front facing camera here this one can also shoot 1080p or full hd videos at 30 frames per second which is very handy for vloggers and also for YouTube content creators who prefer using the front cam for their talking headshots or maybe uh, for videos of them walking for example for travel vloggers walking from one spot to another while narrating what's in front of them so that's very handy indeed now let's talk about the internal hardware of the Oppo A12 and for that let's go to settings scroll down and here let's go to about phone Okay, so as you can see here, the Oppo A12 runs its Color OS 6.1.2 customized Android 9 operating system with an octa-core 12 nanometers 
2.35 GHz MediaTek Helio P35 processor and it's complemented by 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. Given the 4,990 price of the Smart TNT Oppo A12 prepaid bundle, I would say that this is already a great set of internal hardware for this handset. I would say that that set of internal hardware is already good enough to give you great touch responsiveness, as you can see here. And also an overall good mobile experience on this phone. Now, if you love playing mobile games, for example, the very popular Mobile Legends Bang Bang, you should be able to install and run that game on this device. Of course, uh, you won't be able to turn on ultra high frame rate. And of course, you shouldn't expect to get upper mid-range to flagship level gaming performance on this phone. But if you're wondering if you can play it on the device, definitely you can. Now, let me talk about the battery of this phone as I change the wallpaper there you go that's how you do it so the Oppo A12 is powered by a fairly large 4230 milliamp hours battery pack and that means that this one should be able to give you at least a whole day of uptime with regular use now if you're a heavy gamer or you're a power user then you might have to plug in the device come the end of the day but if you're just a casual gamer and you just use your phone for checking social media applications or for snapping photos from time to time then maybe that battery with such high capacity should last you even two days hence if you're the type of user who hates always carrying a power bank with you in your purse or in your pockets or in your bag anywhere you go or if you don't like charging your phone in the middle of the day just to make sure that it will have enough juice uh, come evening then you will definitely appreciate the big battery pack of the oppo a12 as for connectivity options, the Oppo A12 supports Wi-Fi 802.11, A, B, G, N, and AC, Bluetooth 5.0, and Smart's 4G LTE A mobile data network. To wrap up, let me talk about the things that I love about the Smart TNT Oppo A12 prepaid bundle. So first off, definitely you have the price so from having an srp of 5890 this one only goes for 4990 which is a real treat given everything that this phone offers on top of that this already comes with a 5g ready sim from smart tnt and you can even get free three gigabytes of data for facebook so that's 200 mb of facebook per day for 15 days so imagine that plus of course you will get free data allocation from smart which i talked about earlier okay so now let me talk about the device itself so some of the things that i love about this phone first off you have this beautiful design so like what i said this one is the flowing silver version and it definitely looks very classy very elegant given the price again this is just 4990 and I think this really looks very good. So the back design is very classy. And that's of course matched by the very large 6.22 inch HD plus water drop IPS display. Which is quite simply great to look at. Be it for just checking your photos, browsing social media accounts, or even watching vlogs, TV series, or even movies on this phone. Then of course you have the dual rear camera module. Here, which has the 13 megapixel main camera and also the 2 megapixel depth sensor so the main camera uh, records full HD 30 frames per second videos just like the front facing camera and this one is a 5 megapixel shooter which is perfect for those who love taking selfies on their phones now in terms of privacy and security, the phone has a fingerprint sensor at the back and also facial recognition integrated with the front facing camera. Now in terms of the internal hardware, this phone runs on a 12 nanometer octa-core 2.35 GHz MediaTek Helio P35 processor. It has 3 gigs of RAM and also 32 gigs of internal storage. And of course you can even expand that internal storage using the 
dedicated micro SD card slot. And finally, for the battery, this one is powered by 4,230 mAh large battery pack that ensures a whole day of uptime or maybe even up to two days if you just casually use your phone for browsing social media accounts, for snapping photos from time to time, or even for listening to music and watching a few YouTube videos. All right, so there you have it. That's the Smart TNT Oppo A12 prepaid bundle. And given its price of 4,990, I think I am highly inclined to recommend this phone, especially for those who are now thinking about leveling up from their entry-level smartphone into something that's more powerful and a device that lets you connect to and enjoy Smart's ultra-fast 4G LTE network. Thumbs up.